in tonight's Do Little Campers. I cook really quickly because Claire gets really hungry. We get chased by wild animals. And we find somewhere to park our dogs. Good morning. Welcome to back to the channel. We are in the New Forest. We are. So if you haven't seen last week's video, it's all about my birthday and it's about our first day in the New Forest. But today we're going to explore and we're going to explore Limington. Yep. Um, but before we do that, I'm just cooking Claire's second <laughs> breakfast. Okay, can you explain to everyone while I'm cooking oh, I get, why you have to have two breakfasts? I get hungry. I uh, have to have two. As soon as I wake up, I need something. So <clears> we only had a yogurt as a first breakfast, to be fair. So a little yogurt and then now David's going to cook us a breakfast. Now we're all sorted and the bed's set up and... Well, not set up, I should say. But I didn't realise <laughs> that Claire has two breakfasts every day. It was only recently when I went to work late and Claire was eating like scrambled eggs. I was like, what are you doing? She says, oh, it's my second breakfast. <laughs> because I get up at stupid o'clock with the dog. So they wake me up at half five. I, I feed them and then we have our breakfast, which is, again, normally just a yoghurt and some fruit. So if I come... come 20 past 8 when I've got to leave for work. I'm hungry, so I need a little something before I go. Hang on, stop defending yourself. We've got more important issues. Mm. Pass me the camera. I don't know if you guys are going to hear it, but listen to the sound of the birds. Now, I'm hoping that's come out because that will show you how good the campsite is that we're staying on. Yeah. It's amazing. We showed you some footage and as well. It's really, really nice campsite. It's so green. It's so lovely. What did we hear last night? A woodpecker. Yeah, we weren't sure, so we went on YouTube and we searched what a woodpecker sounds like, and it was that. It did sound exactly like that. I think there was a woodpecker in the woods. Yeah. And this morning, David didn't <coughs> hear it, but I was out with the dogs, walking the dogs around the field, and I heard a donkey doing that donkey thing that they do where they just like wake everyone up and it was lovely i really liked it really nice to hear different sounds other than yeah. dogs barking yeah <laughs> so anyway, anyway we're gonna have some breakfast and we'll catch up with you guys in a bit so just before we go actually i just wanted to show you my little sous chef she loves helping daddy cook breakfast well either that or it could be that there's a sausage on the go for her as well <laughs> But yeah, we're going to have our breakfast now and we will honestly pick you up somewhere in the new forest. <laughs> Hello, we are at Limington, aren't we? We are, and it, the sun is shining, it's lovely. It's really nice, you've got the harbour behind us. Now the reason why I wanted to come to Limington, I'll be honest with you, is we love the Isle of Wight and you've got the Isle of Wight ferry behind us. So we thought we'd be able to see that. You can't really see it at the minute, however, I know that's going to head up the river at some point soon. So once it starts Hopefully heading up we'll the river, nice footage, we'll get some we? nice footage yeah. for you. Yeah, um, we've just been down by the river, and now we're going to try and head out towards the estuary. We'll see if we can see across to the Isle of Wight, it should be quite nice. So yeah, we'll take you with us. <laughs> Take a step into the river Get down on your knees Come to the mountain While well, taking in the view You will find the life is Greater than you knew When you go through the storm I don't know if you can see it, but there's a witch on a broomstick on top of that shed. There's a what? Claire, can you see that? A, a what? A witch. A witch? 
Can you not see a witch? I can't see a witch. Guys, can you see a witch? <laughs> Comment down below if you can see a witch. Claire Tessie, can't see Tessie the witch. Tessie found water, sorry. Tessie found water, she found a river. She's going to be right on top of it when she sees it. Oh, I see the witch now. It's on the weather vane. Not often you see a vain witch. So far, I think we're quite liking Limington, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, I'm loving that actually. It's really yeah. nice. It's uh, there's nice places to walk. There's quite a bit of shade for the dogs. Yeah. Um, we've come away from the estuary slightly, but I'm hoping that by going down here, we're going to pick it back up. Yeah, we found a lovely little footpath, haven't we? Yeah, yeah we have. Trees and. Um, yeah, nice. I'm really hoping this doesn't just end up going down to a haven or the Warners or something like that. <laughs> Because I'd quite like to see the estuary and see if we can see across to the Isle of Wight. Let's we'll see what happens. You did well there. <laughs> so Claire, you've got a question for everyone, didn't I you? I have, yeah. So did anyone used to watch GMTV, when they used to do the weather, there was a man and he used to literally stand on like an island in the water and he used to go to each place. He used to jump across from yeah, mainland jump... uh, UK yeah. across to Ireland. That's uh, what that reminds me of. Well, his name was Fred, I remember <laughs> that much. And do you know what? Is it bad that I always used to hope that he'd fall in because I thought it'd be funny? <laughs> but yeah. yeah. That's so lovely. It looks like a little island. So, we have found it. We've found the Isle of Wight, haven't we? we? Have, yeah. The Isle of Wight is currently sitting across the most expensive piece of water per mile that you can cross in the whole wide world. I mean, it didn't move or anything. We didn't lose it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We just couldn't find the water and we couldn't find sight of it. But let me just show you across the uh, Solent and you will see the Isle of Wight. It's Yarmouth, I think, is over there vaguely. Where all the sailing boats are. Yeah, where all the sailing boats are. They sail from there, don't they, I think? Yeah, they do. They sail um, in the Solent Big itself, I think. I think there's big events there. For yeah, the they go all the way around the island, don't yeah. they? But yeah, so that is the Isle of Wight. And look at that gorgeous sky. Yeah. What a lovely day to come It's lovely. Here. What do you think, Claire? Are you having oh, a good day? I think it's absolutely stunning. I'm really, really loving it. Good. I need to go back to the van, though, for coffee, so... Uh, one of your coffees, not getting a nice <laughs> No, 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 it'll be one of my nice coffees with a nice flavour inside it. We're nearly out of coffee actually, so oh, we might have sugar. to buy one. <laughs> I can probably make two coffees, that's it. We need to go via a Tesco's or something on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, see you back at the van. So come to the water, you're sailing with the breeze. Take a step into the river, where you will Okay, so we're back at the van. Yeah. Um, we didn't have coffee. We were both too thirsty. Yeah, it's too had hot. <laughs> so yeah, we had a squash instead. We um, had some lunch. We had some lunch. I've done a bit of editing. I've edited my birthday vlog. I don't know if you've caught on, but it was my birthday yesterday. Watch last week's vlog to see that. Um, but now we're going to head back to the New Forest itself. And I'm going to see if I can find Claire some wild, wild horses. Or any animals. Or any animals. She might, she might have <laughs> we to saw make... some donkeys on the way here at the side of the road. Yeah, so. you might have to make do with donkeys. You'd rather have donkeys though, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see what we can find. Catch you in the forest. So I told Claire I'd find horses, didn't I? You did. You delivered. Went on Google. Where are we? What's this place called? Hatchet Pond. Yeah, Hatchet, Hatchet Pond. Pond. So I went on Google and said, where's the most likely place to find ponies and horses in the new forest? They said Hatchet Pond. So I plugged it into the old sat nav. Oh, you knew uh, he was coming in. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. I thought it was no, by chance no, no, we found no. it. I did my research, which yeah, I should I be praised. Be lucky for a change. <laughs> I should be praised for my research. Well done. Um, but yeah, we've, uh, we didn't have the um, this camera with us because it was in the van charging. Mm. So we took a bit of footage on our walk with our phones. And we'll show you what happened because it was quite scary times, if I'm scary honest. Scary for David. I was in my element. I Love was it. terrified. I didn't like it. Okay, so I said I'd find horses. I never intended finding them this close. A uh, little bit concerned. I think we're completely surrounded by them, to be fair. Um, Claire's in her element. I fear for the dogs and I fear for me, to be fair. This is amazing. They're wild animals and they're very, They very have close. no interest in us unless you, they feel threatened. That one's coming fine. over. Claire, they're wild animals. We're too close to wild animals. Claire, I can't. <laughs> Come on. Can you see how close that thing is? 
He's coming this way. He's turning. He's just looking for his bank account. What do you mean? He's not Lloyd's. He's turned. He's coming. He's beautiful. He is, but you want to go past him? I want to go down there and get a photo of the van. You walk past him with two dogs. He'll see the dogs, he think breakfast. he see us and he think dinner. I think I'm down there. Oh my goodness. Hug my dog. It's all kicking off. Oh my god. Things have took a turn for the worst. <laughs> we're walking back and there was a whole load of animals in the in the way of the path. We thought, oh, we're going to have to walk through them horses. They're not horses, they're cows. David is very scared of cows. There's only one thing that scares me more than wild horses, and that's wild sheep. There's only one thing that scares me more than wild sheep, and that's cows. But they're moving on now, so we should be able to that get through. the path. Let me show you. Who's on the path? So there's still a couple. That's a horse actually over there. But yeah. that one on the path over there. That's a cow. That's a cow. And they were all <laughs> they were all in that little that little bit there a, a minute ago. But they're all moving on now. He's been to Claire's accessories. He's got a, he's got a ring for his nose. <laughs> is that a bull? Yes. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. No, but... they're cows. Okay. But anyway, they've moved on now, so we we're safe to cross. David was a bit scared. Still am. <laughs> right, go on, let's get this over with. Come right, on. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that and you enjoyed uh, me getting scared of the animals and Claire being in her absolute <laughs> element. Yeah. Have you changed? You look, you're wearing something different as well. What's happening? So, it all started a couple of weeks ago when we got a nice little package through the post, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. So, we had a little unboxing, didn't we? Yeah. We opened it up and we had these fabulous t shirts. We did. To try out from Lazy Bear Creations. Yeah, Lazy Bear Creations. So she contacted us mm -hmm. and uh, she must have thought that I was, you know, model material <laughs> because she said, could we try these out and could we, you know, put them on our Instagram? Mm. I said, yeah. So, yeah, so we've got a T-shirt. We've yep. David's got a Let's Get Toasted. Yeah. I have got Always Take the Scenic Route. Yeah. Um, but they do have lots of other designs, yep. lots of different colours. Yep. They also have some other products, so do check out their. They've got on Instagram. They've got a website, website which we are going to put in the link below. Yep. Um, there's some lovely products on there, and they, yep. it's a little uh, local business, not a local business, but it's like a very small business. Yeah, yeah. And I think it started up um, through the pandemic. Uh, and so, if you read their story, it's just lovely how it's all started up, and she's doing something that she really enjoys. That she's really passionate about. And there's some really great products on there. We love them, don't we? Yeah, we do. Really uh, soft material, yeah. lovely fittings. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're really, really pleased with them. So thank you, Lazy Bear Creations. Yeah, I'd like to say, actually, I don't normally wear a round neck, mm -hmm. um, but this is a perfect cut. It's a perfect fit, and I would definitely buy a round neck from her again, actually. Yeah. yeah. They're brilliant. And they also do um, bespoke uh, designs. So if you've got a design yeah. or a logo, or some of some personalised wording you want. Yeah. I think they can they can have talk with you and, and do something like that. So because yeah. I think we're going to look into getting some yeah some do little t-shirts, some do little t-shirts. So that would be really nice. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we just wanted to give them a big shout out, and uh, yeah, please go and check them out and just see if there's anything in there that takes your fancy. Good. Thank you very much, guys. I'm going to go and get a coffee. Yeah. A nice coffee made by me.
So, Claire, how's your coffee? Yeah, it's all right. It's really nice. It's a special coffee, isn't it? Special coffee. Yeah, it's not a like... Special uh, David Loader coffee. It is. It's not like your Costa coffee or anything like that. It's nothing like a Costa coffee. No, no, no. And I'll tell you for why, right? Where do you ever get a Costa coffee with a view like that? I'll give you that one. Thank you. Case, You're not even better. Case dismissed, what? The cake you just finished off. Yeah, my birthday cake. There's horses right outside the van. I'm about to come outside because look how beautiful. Those horses are coming to see us right outside our van. Isn't that the best? Gorgeous creatures. Honestly, it's just so absolutely amazing to just see them in the wild, just roaming, not caring in the world. It's just lovely. Right next to this lovely lake. Oh, they're so beautiful. Hello, my lovelies. Hello, darlings. You're beautiful. A wonderful day. You set my world on fire. I don't know what I do without you. You make me smile. What is it that you do? We didn't really film a lot this morning because we were busy packing up. We are currently um, going for a walk in the pouring rain, as you do in England. <laughs> we are at, what's this place called? Ober's? Oberwater Trail. We're, we're doing the Oberwater Trail. Yeah. I think the actual place is called Putter's Bridge. Um, so yeah, anything with water in it sounds good to me. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down
So, we're back at the van. We are. We just had a bit of a nasty, actually. We was trying to film this, mm -hmm. and some idiot let their dog come to the back of our van, off the lead, off the lead and come in the van. Oh, right, so, the van. so I had to grab her. Yeah, Claire knocked my coffee all over me, and my foot's scalding now. Can I just say, if you've got a dog, right, first of all, put it on the lead in the car park. Second of all, if you're brave enough to not have it on the lead in the car park or stupid enough, don't let it go in the back of someone else's camper van, for goodness sake. <laughs> Especially with Lily on... On, yeah, 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 exactly. Anyway, we're back at the van now. I've got three quarters of a nice coffee, the other quarter's on my foot. Claire's got a lovely coffee, you know, one of those ones that's better than Costa coffee. Um, we've had a lovely weekend, well, yeah, haven't we? Yeah. Have you enjoyed yourself? I have, it's been lovely, and that little walk we've just took now has just been the cherry on the cake. Mm -hmm. I yes. know the weather's not great, but it's so pretty down there with the, yeah. the greenery, all the water, the dogs have had a lovely time. Yeah. They're asleep. They're fast asleep. They are knackered. Exactly. So, but yeah, it's been lovely, hasn't it? Have you had a good time? Yeah, it's been all right, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's been your favourite part. Don't the you? cracking time. It's been your birthday weekend. Well, yeah, so. but part of my favourite was from last week's vlog, so I'm not going to go there. So I suppose if we're talking about oh, okay, this yeah. week's vlog and what we've done over mm -hmm. the last two days, I would probably say today, walking down by the river, it was lovely. So, yeah. yeah really what about nice. you? Probably the donkeys yesterday and the horses. And the horses. And I the think, wildlife. yeah, when we went to have <coughs> one yesterday, it was lovely. But the moment oh, outside the van, we were having a coffee, and I looked outside, I was like, oh, there's horses literally just outside by yeah. the lake. And with the backdrop, it was just stunning. So yeah. I went and said hello to them. Of she got I a did. nice photo, actually. Check out our Instagram. Yeah, on Instagram, I got yeah. a nice picture off the, off the Insta camera. Search do so, little campers. Yeah, it's nice. Anyway, we're going to stop waffling and uh, we will let you go. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video yeah. and we'll see you soon. I hope you enjoyed it.